guys, it's Whitney B. And today's video is going to be covering high-end products that are actually worth their money. Now, a lot of skincare items and makeup items, you can get decent products for pretty cheap. And usually, I'm more on spending less money but getting a really good product. But there are certain things that I have tried that are high-end that I can't find replacements for. Or like cheaper dupes. So this video will be going over those expensive-ass products that... If you're looking to splurge, they're actually worth the money. So let's just get started. I have a handful of things, and I figured we could start with the cheapest one and like move up to the grand finale of the product. So my first item that's worth the money is actually relatively new. It's Chlorine Dry Shampoo. Can you see it? So this is a dry shampoo that I recently tried out. I have been using the Dove Dry Shampoo and I didn't realize it was terrible until I tried other shampoos and dry shampoos. So I needed something that was appropriate for very oily hair because my roots get very oily. My hair is very dark and I needed something that didn't give such a bad gray cast that I looked like I had gone from being in my 20s to going to being in my 50s with just dry shampoo. And I really like it. It smells really good. The Dove one smells like the Dove one smells like chemical, like it smells really nasty. The Chlorine smells really nice. So this is the dry shampoo with oat milk. Gentle formula, all hair types. The only thing is it's got like a really powerful blast. Like one shot is like, like can you hear it? It's a lot of product. Um, so it just recommends that you spray it, leave it on for two minutes and then massage it in. Did I just gray cast me? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine, it's good. Uh, I did a gift exchange with my two best friends tonight and I had, you know, some a drink and then I came home and had a little bit of wine, so we might be under the influence. This retails <laughs> for 20 bucks, so it's not terribly expensive, but there are dry shampoos that are like less than 10. So to me, this is considered high-end pricing for dry shampoo, but I definitely recommend it. Product number two is another hair product and I have oily hair at the roots and then my ends are starting to get a little bit decrepit and dry. So I need something that can moisturize my hair without overly weighing it down and making it too oily. So it's the Redken One United 25 Benefits on One Product. Oh god, they list all 25 on the back. Conditions, nourishes, improves manageability, helps even out porous hair, dryness, detangles, instant results, and ideal cutting lotion, primes hair for shining, helps prevent breaking from brushing, safe for color treated hair, helps prevent heat damage, helps prevent split ends, helps seal in hair cuticles, safe for ombre hair. That really should not be a 25. That doesn't count. Helps shield against external aggressors, <laughs> gives a silky touch, Adds smoothness, adds shine, helps controls fizz, anti-static, controls flyaways, makes blow dry easier, style refresher, lightweight result. That's really funny. So I spray it in on damp hair and then towel dry, but you can also spray it in and then rinse it off too, which is a little bit weird. But this retails, this is a five fluid ounce and it retails for about 22 bucks. So if you're looking for something to nourish your hair without weighing it down, this does a really good job and it smells really nice. And you can smell it when you're spraying it on, but then the scent leaves your hair so it's not overwhelming or anything. The next product that I am obsessed with, and I've gone through like countless tubes, like at least five of these, it's the Fresh Sugar Rosé like lip conditioner. And it's a really pretty color, a your lip but better color. And it really moisturizes your lips really, really well. So I, you can wear this just as the color and that's enough. Or you can put it underneath other lip colors if you need to. So I use this all the time when I go to work or when I don't feel like doing makeup and I want to look at least live. <laughs> like I need some color in my face to make it through the day so people don't spot me on the street and they're like, are you okay? Do you feel all right? When I wear this, they're like, yeah, she's, she's fine. She's just ratchet. So this retails for 24 bucks. They have a lot of different shades. If this like um, deep pink isn't for you, they have other reds, brighter pinks, darker pinks. They have brown tones. Um, they have one that has no color if you're not into that. So definitely give it a shot. They last. It's great. This is the best lip product 
I've ever used in my life. This is the old packaging for this product because this is one of my empties. It's the Olay Henriksen True Serum. So it's a vitamin C based serum. This is the one fluid ounce and it retails for 48 bucks which isn't too bad. Vitamin C serums help with anti-aging and skin repairment, so sunspots, skin pigmentation issues, discoloration, fine lines and wrinkles. Vitamin C helps in preventing and in reducing those. Um, the thing with vitamin C products I really like is you don't have to apply them every day because the product lasts on your face and it soaks in and it works for 72 hours. So I use mine usually every other day to every other two days. I love it. And this one in particular, the price is good because vitamin C tends to be expensive regardless. So 48 bucks for just a full fluid ounce isn't too bad. And it works. Like it actually does a really good job. So the concentration and the strength of this particular brand is perfect. And for me, it just really like evens out my face and makes it a smoother. I have pimples and I have the beginnings of aging around my eyes. And this vitamin C serum is really like I can tell a difference around the beginnings of crow feet <sighs> on my face. I really hate the, the part of my life right now where my skin is, is I still have acne from like my younger 20s, but I'm moving towards 30. So I have acne and aging all on one face. It's not fair. So the next product is another hair product. And I honestly thought I was pretty low maintenance with hair, but now that I look at it, I don't use a lot of products, but the products that you use are very expensive. That's what I've discovered. But this is Pureology. It's a Redken sister company, and it's the more expensive sister. <laughs> it's like from a good place, Tahani's sister, who is better in all things. That's Pureology to Redken. And this is the Hydrate Conditioner. I have three other types, but this is my favorite because it has a really herbal slash minty scent and for a full liter so this is i mean obviously you can tell this is a very big product a full liter is 65 dollars and 50 cents i know that that's expensive and before i used pureology i was either using redken which is like half that price for a liter or was using herbal essence did a lot of coloring to my hair i was red and then i went into ombre and i was trying to get the red out and it was a disaster so my hair went through a lot of issues and I wanted to use a product I knew that would do a really good job of keeping it hydrated, especially my ends. And this has done that and I really like the feeling of this on my scalp because it tingles. Like it's nice and refreshing too. The next product that we're going to talk about, Hacha is a company that came out with full force. They partnered with a lot of YouTubers and... That's always a smart way to go because you have all these people watching your videos saying how great a product is and then you're like, man, is it that great? And then you go buy it and you try it and that's what happened to me. And it was true. <laughs> so I tried the Tatcha Water Cream Moisturizer. It comes in this really cute packaging. Um, I know this is petty, has nothing to do with it, but it comes with a little spatula on the top to dip out the product, which is nice. I don't use it because I'm a, bar a barbarian and I just dip my fingers in and put it on my face. But this is for um, anti-aging. It's good for really oily skin because it's like a gel cream. 1.7 fluid ounce and it is $68. So I was really hesitant to try the company because one, 68 bucks for moisturizer is expensive, especially because I've really been enjoying um, Korean companies like Kosar RX who make products specifically for acne and they're very cheap. So Kosar RX is my favorite brand for skincare and they have multiple moisturizers that do a good job. So I was hesitant to try to go and like spend a bunch of money on something. I know I have something else that does a good job, but then I bought it and tried it and this is the shit. Like there is nothing better for moisturizing my face and it doesn't make me oily. My makeup sits really pretty on it. Like even if I moisturize with this and don't put makeup on, like it gives your face like a very natural, pretty dewy glow. And normally my face is too oily for that to be considered pretty. It just looks oily, not dewy, but this does a really good job with oil control, but also still giving you that like really moisturized, hydrated appearance. So definitely try this out. The thing with Sephora, you can get a sample of something, but also they have a really good return policy. So if you bought this Tatcha, you spent your 68 bucks and you hated it, you can return it. They won't ask you questions. The next one is a very famous, like a cult classic, 
skincare product. It's the Glam Glow Super Mud Mask. It's the mask that you put on and as it dries it looks like little volcanoes erupting with oil on your face. It goes on dark gray, dries light, and then you can see every single pore that it's cleaning out. So I really like this. This is like my third one I've bought, I think, in the past couple of years. 1.2 ounces retails for $69. But the thing with this is, in comparison to the Tatcha Hydrating Cream, which I use every single day, this is $69. Bucks, but you should only be using a mask like this like once or twice a week. So this lasts for a long time and it's expensive but it'll stretch out and you can make it worth the money. And I usually only put this in my T-zone where I have pores that are large and have a lot of oil. So I really like it. And it's just fun. Like it's just a fun mask to put on and you sit there and you're like, that's disgusting. Just pores of oil just seeping out of your face and it's just, it feels so good. And then when you use something that, that is, that's that aggressive, uh, you should follow it with a really good moisturizer. <laughs> okay, the last thing, the grand finale. I'm kind of ashamed that I'm even using this product. It's the Rodana Fields Lash Boost Serum. And this product is 1.7, right? No, 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 no. 0.17 fluid ounce. It's $150. For this it's like in a tube like mascara and it is to help your lashes get thicker and grow it works and I really hated that it worked because if I tried it my, my best friend got it first and she used it for a month or two and you could tell the difference you use it every single night you put it on your lashes before you sleep and your lashes get longer and thicker I don't know the science behind it because I'm not here for the science, I'm here for the results. <laughs> it's awesome! So I went ahead and got my own tube. This is the first tube I've ever used. And I mean, I can do a whole separate video on this if you want like before and after shots, that's cool. If you wanna know. I used to do eyelash extensions. One, that's too expensive. Two, it's like two weeks in when you're half extension and half natural, it looks terribly. So I quit doing extensions. I was just doing mascara and my eyelashes were average. And now that I have these, I wear mascara and people like at work notice and they'll either ask if they're extensions or if they're falsies. And I've already bought my second one. But this is 150 bucks for 0.17 fluid ounce product. It is really expensive. And normally I would never in my life spend this kind of money on something for eyelashes. But it works and I really like the effect and I don't have to do as much makeup on my days off or like when I go into work I can just throw on like one or two coats of mascara and I'm done and I look flawless because of the lashes. Those are my high-end products that are actually worth their money. So if you're wanting to like get something for Christmas or for someone else or if someone wants to get you something fancy for Christmas you can tell them to get you that. All of these products you can get at Sephora except the Rodana Fields Lash Serum. You have to get that from a, a what are they called? A representative? A seller? <laughs> I'll do, my next video will be <laughs> high-end products that are not worth the money. And that video will be less happy and more bitter because I've spent money on these things and they did not do the job that they promised me. We'll do that video when I need to get some stress out and <laughs> be angry. <laughs> so if you have any questions about the products, I will try to link them in the description below here. So that's everything. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe below. I don't know where it is. Check out my other videos. I will link them here. And have a good holiday. I will try to post more videos now because my semester of grad school's ended for now. Yay! Like this is the end of the day. But look at these lashes. Not that eyeball because it's terrible. Look at them. <laughs>